Hey, what's up everybody? Chat here, and in this Gorilla Cam video, I'm gonna show you how to get depth of field working with Octane. So you can see we have a shot over here with a camera moving, and we've got some depth of field going on. Our focus is being tracked onto this null, so we've got some depth of field, and we wanna make sure that our Octane render has a very similar sort of depth of field. So the first thing we're going to do is grab an Octane camera tag. So go over to the Gorilla Cam. You do not wanna put the camera tag on the subsequent or reference cameras you want to make sure you put it on your Gorilla Cam. So let's go over here and say uh, C40 Octane Tags, Octane Camera Tag. And once that's on, the first thing we're going to do is turn off autofocus. And the second thing is you're going to want to make sure that this focal depth remains at zero. If this is anything greater than zero, then it's going to override whatever your focal depth is on your actual camera. And we don't want that. We want, we want that depth to come from our actual camera or our reference camera. So make sure the focal depth in the Octane camera tag is at zero. The next thing you wanna do is start to increase the aperture size, or you can decrease the f-stop and get the sort of the same effect. So if I have a pretty big aperture, maybe five centimeters, and I go ahead and turn on my uh, my live viewer here in Octane, you're gonna see now we have some depth of field going on. And if I increase this aperture size, we are going to get more depth of field. That's a pretty strong depth of field, I'd say, but it's great because we're gonna render this out as a test and I really want you guys to be able to see it. So there it is. Okay, we're good there. Now the next step we wanna do is run a quick bake. And unless you're, if your focal point is being driven by signal or some other sort of secondary method, you'd wanna use the brute force bake in Gorilla Cam, but in this case, we aren't. So we're just gonna do a quick bake and there we go, it's all baked out. Now we're ready to render. I'm gonna go ahead and kick off this render and pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so here's the resulting render. We've got the depth of field happening tied to our Gorilla Cam in Octane. And that about wraps it up. That's how you get uh, Octane depth of field working with Gorilla Cam. Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here with another Gorilla Cam video. This time I wanted to show you how to get the Gorilla Cam working with Redshift's depth of field. Uh, in particular, the Redshift camera tag. So here we've got a scene with some depth of field. We've got a focal object moving through the scene, and we want to achieve the same sort of depth of field in Redshift. So let's go ahead and uh, rewind and rest on frame zero here. We're going to activate the Redshift render view. You can see we've got no depth of field happening. So the first thing we want to do is grab our Gorilla Cam, go to Tags, and grab a Redshift camera tag. The next thing we're going to do is enable the bokeh and it, right away uh, it's going to put a little bit of bokeh into your scene and then we want to make sure this is very important we want to make sure that we leave this checked on derive focus distance from camera that's checked on we want this tag to be looking at gorilla cams focal distance uh, otherwise this won't work so leave that checked on and then the other thing the only thing left to do is to adjust your circle of confusion uh, to a setting that you like i think this looks pretty good so once you've got um, a focal, uh, sort of a circle of confusion radius that you're happy with, you're ready to bake this out to render. So grab the Gorilla Cam tag, scroll down, and because we don't have any scene dependencies like signal or anything like that, we can just do a quick bake. So let's go ahead and run a quick bake. And now we are ready to render. So let's go ahead and render this out. Um, pause the video and come back with that. Okay, so it's all done rendering. We've got the depth of field tracking with our Gorilla Cam. Everything's looking good. And that is how you get Redshift depth of field to work with Gorilla Cam. See you in the next video. Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here, another Gorilla Cam video. This one I wanted to show you how to get the Gorilla Cam working with Arnold's depth of field. So I've got a macro shot here. We've got a focal object moving through the scene and we wanna have some nice depth of field going on, some rack focusing. How do we do that? Well, we're using Gorilla Cam. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Gorilla Cam and go to tags under C40 to A tags. I'm gonna grab an Arnold parameters tag. Now you wanna make sure you put this Arnold parameters tag on your Gorilla Cam and not the cameras that it's referencing. Uh, okay, so with that tag selected, I'm going to go over to enable depth of field and make sure that's turned on. Now, the Arnold tag is automatically going to get the focal distance from the underlying camera, so you're all good there. Let's go ahead and kick off the IPR here so we can see some of that depth of field happening. We've got a pretty small aperture size, so let's go ahead and raise this to like maybe 0.045. That looks pretty good. Maybe go back to the first frame. 
make sure we've got our focus happening. Yep, good. So once that's all set, and as long as your focal point or your Gorilla Cam is not uh, being changed by any sort of secondary uh, methods like signal or something like that, you can use uh, the quick bake under the main Gorilla Cam tag. Otherwise, you could use the brute force bake if you're using signal to drive anything. But in our case, we're not, so we're just going to use quick bake. Let's bake that out. And now I'm going to render this sequence out and uh, pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so here we have the scene all rendered out in Arnold with our depth of field happening, our rack focus working. And so, yeah, that is how you get uh, depth of field in Arnold working with GorillaCam.